the public procurement and disposal of public assets authority the principal regulatory body for public procurement has come under fire as suppliers at the national suppliers forum castigated it over delayed payments and shoddiness in the biding process believed to have affected their businesses we talked about contractors who are paid when they have not finished the work is he really concerned about contractors who have finished the work and are not paid? Because this is what is murdering. I can put murdering in quotes, our suppliers. I don't know whether the ministry is bothered or anybody is concerned about suppliers who are getting out of business because they have supplied government and they are not paid. And we have also had issues where they issue maybe a contract in January, but we have to wait for the payment to come out in June. So the, late pay, the, the delay of works that you talked about is because I cannot put my funds there to complete a job where I know I will be paid in June. It's better I start on it in May and complete by June, then I receive my payment. Government's electronic procurement portal, EGP, has as well been criticized as inefficient and further grievances cited with the authorities planning believed to continuously block suppliers in the developed industry from participation. We have a problem of procurement planning. That is why we cannot even be paid. You get a procurement entity, they design the document, they do the evaluation, they award the contract. KCCA partly affirms the grievances and underlying factors such as budget cuts encourages the Ministry of Finance to address the matter effectively. We plan with budgets, but really the Commissioner, my senior, is based on quarterly basis, especially for government of Uganda funds. And of recent, we've experienced a very big challenge with budget cuts on contracts which have already been signed. So I think you raise this to the PSSD. It's a reality. We shall not really deny it or play around it. You will see. Government does not, has never failed to pay, but government delays, may delay to pay. The private sector foundation recognizes the conflict and announces a catalytic fund to help some of these suppliers access finances, match the retaliation of PPDA. Our UNABSEC and you suppliers should also ask private sector to advocate for you so that you get lower rates on the advance payment and the money you borrow for construction. Many local businesses are not accessing tenders and bids because of structural weaknesses. Again, the bureaucracies, corruption, weaknesses, delays in payments, etc., etc. So we decided to put money, and we were supported by different development partners, to create a forum where both government and private sector meet to discuss issues that are affecting, impacting, and actually making it difficult for them to compete and access tenders. How can we do contracting, execute projects in government without compromising the future benefits of our citizens? That is uh, specifically incorporating environment and social safeguards in contracting processes. With all the deliberation from the forum, one can only hope that there is an enhanced stakeholder engagement for better procurement outcomes. Rona Nahabwe, Smart24 TV, Business Today.